Hey, it's me. It's the Steaming Bean coming at you from my hotel room here in Prince Albert. I It's Friday now, and I have been here since Monday. So that's five days, man. I've, I've been uh, held up in this uh, hotel room because right now I can't move up north where I'm supposed to be moving to because the highway is closed, uh, wilderness fires, you know, uh, highways closed, and all of a sudden we found out that the wind has shifted. Um, fire has jumped the highway, uh, evacuations are happening. Uh, evacuations from towns up north. People are moving south to Prince Albert, moving south to Saskatoon. So it, it's, it's, um, it's a bit of a worry. First it was people uh, that were elderly, uh, people with respiratory problems, and young children. They're the first ones to ev uh, evacuate now. Other people are evacuating. So I might be in my hotel room here for maybe three more days. So it's it's getting a little bit long in the tooth. I really was looking forward to heading up north to start my new chapter in my life. But as I stay put here in, in Prince Albert, I am going to make the best of it and I'm going to visit places of interest. Come join me. And right behind me is the home. The Prince Albert home of Prime Minister John Diefenbaker. Oops, locked. Well, it's supposed to be open for another 45 minutes. And I'm gonna see what I could do, go around back, see what's happening. Nice looking house. Bit of an incline on a hill. And it looks like every window is covered. And that well, would have been interesting to see what's in that garage. Maybe <laughs> an old car or whatever, I don't know. Well, that's interesting. It is closed. Um, I guess they closed it early and it was the last day of their summer hours. But uh, I asked someone on the phone, I called it the Historical Society, and inside the house uh, is furniture, but the furniture wasn't from his home here in Prince Albert, but from his home that he had in Ottawa in Rockcliffe Park. Um, actually, in this house, there's only five things, five items that belong to this house and we're talking about like a mirror and a cheese dish and I think two chairs I forget what the fifth item was so you know it, I don't think I'm it's the end of the world but it is a nice looking house and uh, he was an interesting character he, he was Prime Minister from uh, 1957 to 1963 and that was of course a very interesting time um, Cold War was hot, and and Ottawa, of course, was no stranger to the Cold War, and or sorry, Canada, I should say, and um, yeah, uh, you know, he was the uh, leader of the party that said no to Canada's famous Avro Aero jet, which was supposed to revolutionize fighter jets, and but I guess it was too expensive or whatnot, and. Uh, yeah, um, it was you know the you know he's the one that set up the the Bill of Rights in Canada, which gave freedom, uh, uh, specific freedoms to to individuals, so in groups. So that was pretty cool. Um, first Prime Minister to elect a, a female member of Parliament, first Prime Minister to select a uh, First Nations or Aboriginal uh, senator. 
and uh, a few other things, yeah. Well, that's his pad. Diefenbaker's pad. Pretty cool. Also, I shouldn't say this while I was standing on his ground, but the, um, <laughs> he had what we thought was when he died on um, August 16th, 1979, we thought he had no children of his own. So he left everything, all of his belongings went to his uh, second wife, Olive's uh, daughter. But through the years we found that Diefen Baker had a few Diefen babies. A couple of Diefen babies for sure. Uh, one fellow in Toronto, his DNA matched and he looked just like Deep the Chief. The plot thickens. There was talk that we were going to leave this evening. A convoy bumper to bumper up the highway. Man, I'm uh, th then then uh, <laughs> then we then now it's maybe maybe tentatively tentatively um, tomorrow on Saturday. I'm much comfortable with driving in the morning, not in the evening. Man, as I'm told that it's going to be a dark highway, a lot of smoke, and I just might head off to. Um, you know, get a, uh, get a mask for it to make breathing easily if I'm driving. I thought it would be interesting to take up uh, making models. Hadn't made models since the early 80s and this summer I, I made a real world one fighter. I'm not really happy with it. Wasn't the best kit, but might be a good hobby to continue. And I'm checking out this hobby shop because if I'm living up north, good idea to have a hobby. I'll do this one. This one would be cool. Maybe this one. Ooh. Very nice. Oh yeah. Do some monotonous things and tell you come home and you just feel like watching some YouTube videos because you're tired. <laughs> Sounds about right. Oh, I remember Speed That's Racer, cool. my brother's favorite yeah. show when it, I growing I up. One that had a, um, you could I don't remember where it is here, but What is it? The back the uh, Back to the Future one? Like back to the Future for 3. Oh, okay. Um, you know the one where it's like Wild West and they have that... You know what? I've never seen that one. Is it good? Yes, it was. Yeah, you, you so, had, oh, this one's cool. The second one was better. I, yeah, I saw the first one. I saw the second one. The first one's a classic of Back to the Future. The second one was good. Yeah? The third one, they go back to the Wild West and it's kind of... It's not as good as the other two. Right. It's still okay. Well, it's hard to get a third movie sequel to... That's good. Yeah. This is yep. cool. We're trying to find Speed that, like, the that you have here. So this is level two, and it requires cement, which is glue and paint. Level two is pretty simple. So that means it's like less than 50 point, uh, parts, or? I don't know about that. Yeah. All plastic kits skill level two, ages 10 to 12. Yeah. Yeah, so it says on the side there. Yeah. This is paint and cement are needed to complete. All right. Well, this is cool. I've never seen one of these. Is this an old kit? I don't work here. No, don't work here? Okay. Oh, this one's cool. 1967. Wow. The guys that I like the box. Different the big, uh, colors on oh, of the okay. car. In the U.S., you can buy one and you can just start flying. In yeah. Canada, you need twenty thousand dollar course and all this in licensing. Ooh, Burt Reynolds. Aircraft. Yeah. Was it 
damage. Uh, Hold on. Uh, and ah. 92 and Cougar. Those guys are 15 bucks, so we'll keep Looks like something Scott from Mr. Roops yeah. would drive. Hmm. Ooh, I like the wheels on it. And he's like, that guy's gonna break me. Hold on. <laughs> Not bad. I wonder if they have a LeBaron. Chrysler LeBaron. I've never seen a Chrysler LeBaron model, but I'd pick one up. I always liked them. I don't know how well Oh, yes. But you should know him well. The Christine from the movie. Sometimes he's really salty at the deals I get. Oh, yeah. Either it goes out the door, it sits there. You know, one time, he, one time out of the blue, Jack starts telling me about that. Like, why? So, how, how are you guys playing here? Is that like a, a hundred uh, PowerPoint? Very cool. Be sure, when you win, be sure you take points so we can do this. I don't think we're doing scenario. I could ask him. I could be like, do you want to do this? It doesn't, it doesn't matter, it's in the game. Yeah? It doesn't have to be the scenario. Oh, is it? Hmm. Ooh. This is. This is. Ontario plane. And who wouldn't take the highest power Thing is, it's level 5. Way above my level. A lot of my stuff, uh, with the exception of my Pathfinders, I feel like I'm legitimately making a choice in terms of how I want to manage. One day I'd like to build uh, like this. Weapons, I legitimately wasn't sure Maybe even worth buying because one day it might be discontinued. Is way more expensive in terms cool. Of well. Because it's like a tanker field again. It's just like, why would I put 10 points into this and lose myself in market light? You just, you don't. It does nothing. Compared to what it used to do in 7th edition, which Ooh. was a small pie plate template that could blow up orcs to give it double dip cover. Yeah, it's a pretty gutsy move. Canadian but what, what's a hundred uh, power level? What's that points wise? About two k. About two thousand. Yeah. Um, like I've got two hammerheads in here. I've got. Uh, What's this one? A riptide. Uh, the hammerhead. Grizzly. I saw this at the War Museum in Ottawa. Three hundred and forty points. Riptide is probably that again. Hmm. Um, the stealth battle suits. Okay, oh, this one? Oh! The size of it. Oh, yeah? How old is that kid? Does it say? Uh, yeah. 2011. Oh, okay. <laughs> and... Oh, yes. Tonight I'll be ordering in, ordering from Science Fiction Pizza. Oh yeah! Heard good things about it. And reading is out of the world. Free little library. All right, Let's see what I do. There's the kitchen. Stay here, I guess. Order. <laughs> Being at a place called Science Fiction Pizza makes me think of two guys, Joe and Blair. I'm not sure if um, one's a geek and one's a nerd, or both are geeks or both are nerds. Can't figure it out. Well, you know, science fiction pizza, good place in Prince Albert. And I have a feeling that finally, um, there'll be a bunch of cars heading up north tomorrow. Stay tuned. Vlog at the meet.